Hi, my name is Dhruv Aliwal. You're watching AutoX, and today we are going to be talking about battery swapping. Now, recently, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman revealed the union budget for financial year 2022 and 23, and there was a mention of battery swapping. In fact, she said, considering the constraint of space in urban areas for setting up charging stations at scale, a battery swapping policy will be brought out, and interoperability standards will be formulated. The private sector will be encouraged to develop sustainable and innovative business models for battery or energy as a service. This will improve efficiency in the EV ecosystem. Now, what does that mean? It basically means that the government will be looking at battery swapping as a viable alternative to the charging infrastructure it needs to create for EVs to become a success. Now, essentially, what is battery swapping? Battery swapping means that if you're running an electric vehicle and you're about to run out of charge, then you visit a service station where these batteries will be stored, and you can simply give them your old battery which has run out of charge and take a new fresh battery from them, which you can then put into your vehicle and then drive off. It simply means that your charging time gets cut by a lot, so much so that pretty much the amount of time you would spend swapping batteries would be the same amount of time that you would spend. Filling a tank of gas in a petrol or a diesel car. This is essentially the biggest and the only benefit of battery swapping. Now we know that there is really one benefit to battery swapping, but what exactly are the challenges standing in its way? For starters, there would have to be standardized battery packs. All car makers, all electric vehicle manufacturers will have to develop vehicles which use the same standardized battery. Now this can actually hinder R&D for a lot of companies because right now electric vehicles are in the nascent stages of development and that means that all different companies are taking different routes to R&D and could potentially come up with different genius solutions but if we condemn them to work and make the same type of battery pack then this kind of R&D this kind of development could be hindered second of all swapping batteries in a two wheeler and a three wheeler all right their batteries are not so big that you cannot lift them out by hand and essentially there are a few uh, electric vehicles out there two wheelers in which you can take the battery out charge it and put it back in but saying the same for car batteries that's going to be completely different because car batteries are very heavy generally they weigh up to like 500 600 700 kilos in a car Now you cannot remove a battery pack like that, even if it's modular, with just your bare hands. You would need specialized equipment to remove that battery pack. Then you would need specialized equipment to put it back in, and that's going to cost a lot of money. Now a lot of R and D also goes in making sure that the battery is safe. And what I mean by that is that in case you get into an accident, the battery doesn't catch fire, it doesn't rupture, it doesn't puncture. all of these things need to be taken care of when you are going to be making batteries modular that is something that car makers or electric vehicle makers will have to look at and obviously there is one big problem as well and that is battery health now for example say you buy a new car and you get a battery with it that's had a 100% health now if you go to a battery swapping station once you run out of charge on the battery and swap it and say for example you get a battery which only has 80% health you are kind of at a loss here because your battery was new and now you have something that's not new essentially the vice versa is also possible where you have a battery that's at 80% but you go to the service station and you get a battery that has better health than it so in a sense there it's not fair and in that case what electric vehicle makers will have to do is that they sell you the electric vehicle but they do not sell you the battery you can lease a battery and essentially so every time you swap a battery it doesn't matter what health it has because you're leasing it you don't own it so you don't really care about the kind of battery health it has the only thing you care about will be the range it gives you and once you run out of that charge you can simply swap it and get another battery so that will also have to be done which speaking about it sounds a little simple but essentially once it has to be implemented it really won't be that simple now what do we think about battery swapping essentially it's a great idea to solve a very big problem for electric vehicles and that is charging time but just because you think that this idea has been tabled for discussion in the 2022 23 financial year if you think that just because of that it's going to be implemented in this financial year then that's not going to happen yes electric vehicle manufacturers the government different think tanks 
they will be happy to enter into discussions to start solving this problem but it's going to take some time for that to happen and maybe in three to four years when this idea has been refined enough that it can be implemented within our existing infrastructure then maybe then battery swapping could become a reality in india what do you think about do you think it's a great move by the government to table the discussion do you think we need to be more proactive in looking for a solution what are your thoughts on battery swapping we would love to know them why don't you tell us about them in the comments below thank you so much for watching until the next